Ken. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Alan, uh, product manager of uh, uh, WhiteTech. Today I introduce uh, WhiteTech product plan. Uh, uh, for WhiteTech product, uh, we have two part. One part is uh, about a uh, wear product. It mainly include a, a switch, PoE switch, and uh, another part is about a wireless product. It include a wireless access point and a wireless CPE. And for the switch product, we have different uh, uh, niche product uh, suit for different market, like a. Uh, 250 meters long range CCTV PoE switch and a gigabit PoE switch and a UPS solar PoE switch and a 24 volt and a 48 volt smart PoE switch and a, the a fiber uh, product for ISP and the industrial uh, a great uh, PoE switch and outdoor PoE switch. Uh, first, I introduce uh, 250 meters long range CCTV PoE switch. And uh, uh, this, this uh, um, product series include uh, uh, from the four PoE port and eight PoE port and 16 and 24 ports. And uh, uh, different uh, ports model. We designed the right PoE budget. Like for PUE port, we have 65 watt PUE budget. And uh, eight PUE port, we have uh, 120 watt budget, PUE budget. And uh, 16, we have 200 watt. And uh, 24, we have 200, 250 watt. And we also support some features uh, usually used in the uh, CCTV market. Like we designed the double uplink port and uh, fan lines design and AC power and uh, port VLAN and extend mode and the PoE watchdog and uh, 60 watt uh, BT standard. I will explain these features one by one. Uh, first, uh, 250 meters long range means uh, we can transmit uh, PoE and data at uh, 250 meters by uh, use uh, CAT5, CAT5E cable. And uh, we test, uh, if you use CAT6 cable, we even can transmit 300 meters. Uh, in our switch, uh, we have designed a, 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 a Deep, deep deep switch. It has three mode: uh, default mode, uh, VLAN, and uh, extend. And uh, at extend mode, uh, you can use uh, uh, CAT5 and CAT5E to transmit 250 meters. And uh, at default mode, you can transmit 100 meters. And uh, at VLAN mode. Actually, it uh, we call the port VLAN function. Uh, uh, it, uh, it it also can call uh, port isolation because at this mode, uh, different PoE port cannot talk or uh, send a message to each other. Just can send the date to the uplink port, so it will protect the different PoE port device. Elena. Uh, yeah. The yes. 250 meter, uh, yeah. does yeah. it require an extender? Uh, sorry? Does it require an extender in between? Uh, yes, need uh, under the extend mode. But so, uh, uh, at this uh, mode, at, at this mode, actually the date, the, uh, the speed will decrease to the 10 Mbps. So cannot use uh, for the wireless access point. Just can use in for the CCTV camera. Okay. 
So 250 meter cable straight line, uh, no device in between. Yeah, no device. Between. The only thing is uh, the Ethernet port will be tuned down to 10 megabit uh, yeah. data. And yes. it will still be able to carry A2.3 AF or AT PoE, is it? Yes, uh, still AT PoE. The power is no problem, just the, the speed decreased to the 10 Mbps. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, a port wheeler advantage, uh, such as some sometime if your, your your network in your network your computer gets the ARP attract, and uh, uh, the computer will always send the broadcast state to the uh, uh, the other device. But uh, if have the VLAN port VLAN protect the, the the computer cannot send the the, the date to the other device only can send to the uplink port so it will protect other device in the network if no port will run the whole network device will uh, get the ARP attract and uh, we for our uh, CCTV POE switch we also design the double uplink it's very important uh, for the uh, CCTV, because uh, before uh, usually our other brand, uh, the PU switch only have one uplink port, so they need to uh, connect the uh, uplink port, PU switch uplink port to the wireless router first, then connect the wireless router to the NVR, so the all video date uh, will transmit from the uh, switch bypass to the uh, bypass the wireless router to the NVR. If the word, uh, the wireless router is weak, the performance is weak, it will let your video uh, become very, very slow. But uh, uh, we design is a double uplink port. So one uplink port connect NVR directly, one uplink port connect to the wireless router. And uh, when uh, your video send uh, from uh, from the w uh, camera to the PU switch. A it will directly transmit from the uplink port to the NVR, no delay, and uh, it will let your video more stable. And uh, for our CCTV PU switch, we also add the uh, 802.3 BT standard. It's a new standard. Uh, also can name the PoE++. Plus plus. Uh, I, uh, first I introduce, uh, usually for the PoE standard, uh, the first uh, class is uh, AF. AF is uh, means uh, it can PoE output 15.4 uh, watt by a PoE port. And uh, the second uh, class is uh, uh, AT standard. It can output 30 watt. And uh, the new standard uh, is a uh, BT standard. Uh, in, in the draft, uh, it also called uh, high PoE, but uh, its uh, normal standard uh, name is a uh, BT standard. It can reach 60 watt, even 90 watt. Uh, usually, uh, some PoE device uh, it uh, cost uh, uh, different uh, PoE budget. Like a non PDD camera, it only need uh, 60 watt usually, less 60 watt. And uh, a PDD camera usually need uh, less uh, 15 watt PoE budget. And uh, a, a dual band wireless access point like a 11AC uh, usually need uh, 20 watt for the power. And uh, if the big like this speed PDZ dome camera. The PoE transmission from uh, to the 550 meters maximum. We have two PoE extend. One is a one PoE in, two PoE out model. Another one is a two PoE in and a four PoE out model.
uh, this one is a uh, when you uh, you in the PUE input you can use uh, uh, a 60 watt PUE injector to power up this device. So this device no need the DC input. He just PUE input 100 meter and uh, he have four PUE output to another 100 meter. This is a uh, one use way. And this is another uh, use way. Is uh, uh, you can connect each PUE extend, extender in a ring, in a line. And uh, in the first, uh, uh, you can use a 90 watt PUE injector. 90 watt means that you can give enough power. And after the 100 meter UTP cable, you PUE input here. Then this device have two PUE output port. So one PUE output port to connect to the camera, another port to connect to another one. So it will transmit another 100 meter and uh, one by one. Totally, is, uh, it can reach 550 meters for the PUE transmission. This is a solution when you have a, a very long uh, range, uh, the CCTV project. And sometimes we also need uh, the gigabit PUE switch, uh, such as you need uh, uh, you need a HD camera uh, up uh, five megapixel to the 8K. And uh, sometimes you you have a big project, have many many camera. You need a more high buffer for the cl clearly image. And uh, sometimes you need a uh, 60 watt to 90 watt the uh, high PoE output. So you need a gigabit PoE switch. And the uh, Vitek uh, designed a new, uh, uh, we call the super high PoE switch. It has very powerful features. Like uh, his, uh, this device, the totally PoE budget up 800 watt. And uh, his bandwidth can up to 128 GB. And uh, the single port can output PoE 90 watt. And uh, we also design it can output 24 watt and 48 watt different PoE standard. Uh, as we know, uh, like uh, Ubiquiti, like U Cambuia, it use uh, the 24 watt PoE. And uh, for the others, they use standard PoE means uh, 48 watt. So for this 24 ports PUE switch, we design the first four ports, it can output the 24 watt and 48 watt. It, it, it auto detect, like you connect uh, uh, a Cambria AP, it will detect and output 24 watt. And uh, if you connect the uh, high vision camera, it will detect and uh, output 48. And the front port five to port eight, eight list four ports, red port, uh, red ports, it will output a 90 watt, 90 watt BT standard. So you can connect any uh, big speed dome camera. And from the port nine to the port 24, it supports standard 80 standard PoE. That means each port can output 30 watt. So this uh, project usually uh, suit for some mm, big project. You have the wireless uh, CP, you have the, uh, the speed dump camera, you have other device, you can use this one. And sometimes uh, when you have the video IP phone, you have a computer, uh, you have the 11NC dual band access point or VCS uh, in your network, or you have the, the 8PM MP camera in your network. We suggest you use gigabit PV switch, not to use the megabits. And uh, our gigabit switch, PV switch, you already have the fiber uplink port. So when you have a big project, you have different. Uh, uh, branch uh, uh, for your CCTV project, you can connect different branch 
to your uh, monitor center by the fiber or by wireless point to point. And uh, in some uh, the the uh, some network uh, system, you include different device. Like uh, in a school or in a hotel network, you have the VIP phone, you have access point, you have the uh, camera, and you have different server. We suggest your whole network use the gigabit from the uh, the gateway from to the PV switch. And uh, we suggest you, you, you use the managed uh, PV switch so you can open some function like IGMP, slooping or QoS, or uh, make some VLAN. And uh, all of our PV switch, we design 6,000 uh, volt uh, uh, the lighting protect. So in the rainy season, you don't worry if it will be hit uh, uh, by the, the, the lighting. And we in our manager PV switch, we, uh, we, we support the normal uh, function uh, like the MSTP, QoS, LLTP, RGMP, and the QNQ. And uh, uh, we support uh, the web manager and the CLI, CLI ma uh, commander manager and uh, the SMP manager. And uh, for our commander style, uh, we use uh, similar like the Cisco switch style. So if an engineer, he knows the Cisco, the switch uh, commander, uh, very, it, it will very easy to use the WITEC switch. And uh, in our manager switch, we also support the, the watchdog, the PoE device, uh, a live check. And uh, we also support the PoE schedule for the energy uh, saving. Uh, like uh, from the Monday to the Friday, you can keep all devices uh, working. And uh, for the weekend, you can uh, disable the PoE port, uh, which connects the VIP phone, connects the, 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 the access point. So you do this schedule, and uh, you don't worry, uh, the energy will the waste. This is a series uh, with our gigabit PV switch from the 4 PV port, 8 PV port, 16, and 24. This series is a, a managed model. And we also have managed model from 8 ports, 16, 24 ports. And uh, all our gigabit PV switch from the eight ports, we start. Uh, we, we support the rec mount. We have uh, the rec mount kits in our packing box. And uh, uh, we now we are developing a new PV switch, and it uh, can detect any unwave uh, camera, IP camera, and show the top logic in the GUI of a switch. It will come out at uh, June this year. In the, in the GUI of camera, it has, uh, uh, you can see, search and see the all the camera or NVR uh, which connect to the switch, and you can manage the IP camera and NVR easily. And it's more easy to make a VLAN uh, by our GUI because uh, most of the CCTV installers don't know too much about uh, IP knowledge, so they don't not, don't want to learn how to uh, compare uh, a VLAN. 
and uh, we also support uh, the, the batch management for our switch. And uh, that I introduced our uh, solar UPS PV switch. Uh, actually, the solar power the UPS PV switch is a, a PV switch. We adding the solar function. We adding the battery backup function. Like here, uh, the switch. We design the solar controller and the battery controller inside, so the switch can connect the solar uh, solar panel and the battery directly, and it will charge and discharge. And you can also uh, connect the AC input. And when you uh, you you connect the solar and the AC, it will use solar first, because we, we want to use uh, green energy, and uh, charge the battery. And uh, in the front, uh, we designed a different PV port, so you can power up different devices. Do you supply the solar panel and the battery as well? Uh, uh, usually, we don't sell in the solar panel and battery, but uh, if some customer need, we can uh, have them purchase. Uh, purchase, but uh, for for the battery, it's not easy to deliver, so we don't uh, purchase the battery. Solar okay. panel. Okay. Do you provide the calculator as well? Since you have the, I believe you have the inverter inside your switch. Uh, do you provide the calculator to calculate the power consumption, the standby time, and all? Uh, you you mean uh, what? Sorry, not get. That calculator, the that process, ah. Ah, calculator. Ah. Yes, another PPT. Uh. Uh. Yes, uh, uh, for how to calculate uh, the, the solar panel, I have another PowerPoint I show you later. No, I will not, speak. not how to, not how to, uh, not how to calculate the solar panel. I mean the power consumption, how many solar panels that we need to install, what is the size of the battery that we need, we need to have. Yes, 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 I know. Uh, it's okay, I can show you now. Let let this uh, show. Or let this picture show. Actually, the calculate uh, it's a uh, it's not simple. So we 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 already give a reason. This is a reason. Uh, uh, we we check uh, uh, different PV load. Like uh, your your PV load totally PV budget is a five watt. Means may, maybe you connect one camera only. You you don't share that screen. Uh uh, you don't share screen. Oh. Oh, he doesn't share screen. 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 Uh, 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 we we have a, a calculator how to check different uh, uh, different uh, solar panel and different battery, but uh, it's not simple. It's not easy to 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 use. So it, we just give the result. We can let customer check uh, how big uh, the PV log he use. Like uh, five watt usually is uh, means he just connect the one camera. Or one one AP, and uh, he he his backup if his backup time is uh, 24 hours, and eight eight hours for the solar charge and uh, 16 hours for the, in the night for for battery discharge. So the battery need uh, 12 volt and uh, 14 ampere hour. The solar panel need uh, 12 volt and 35 watt. And if he need 10 watt, 15 watt, 25, 20 watt, 25 watt, 30 watt, this is the list. The list is a whole, whole. 
how it uh, uh, how it checked uh, the solar panel uh, and battery capacity. And uh, here showed how to connect the, the solar panel and the battery to our UPS PV switch. Uh, this picture like uh, S means uh, solar, and uh, we we means uh, DC input, so we can use external power adapter. And uh, the B means the battery, so you can connect the battery here. And uh, usually we can also can offer our customer a, a steel case, a steel a waterproof box like this. And uh, we can also offer the, the red uh, solar panel, depend on his project requirement. And, uh, and you can put the, our UPS PV switch into the box and put the battery into the box. And uh, for PV port, we designed a different PV port. Like the first port is 60 watt. 60 watt uh, uh, for the high PV. Uh, for we can connect to the any um, uh, dome, speed dome camera. And the port two and port three is 30 watt. We, could, uh, we can connect any the normal uh, AT standard uh, the camera or the access point. And uh, the port four and port five, we named uh, auto PoE. It can detect uh, auto detect the uh, 24 volt and uh, 48 volt uh, the PoE standard. And uh, we also have uh, SFP ports. You can connect SFP module for the fiber use. Here, usually is an application case uh, in some. Some some place like mountain, like a uh, forest, uh, you can use a, a waterproof box. In the box, uh, in, we put the battery and our UPS fuel switch. And uh, in the hole, you can also put the solar panel. You can connect the camera and uh, connect the wireless transmitted the, the camera video by the wireless to your control room in the city. And this uh, map shows we can auto charge and uh, discharge. Uh, as a day, if we, we have the solar input, we always use solar input priority and uh, charge the battery and give PV out in the night. And the solar not work, and the battery will discharge. And uh, before, uh, maybe some uh, system in installer uh, also use solar solution, but he need to uh, use a, a very uh, difficult uh, solution. He need to choose the solar uh, controller, and he need to choose the solar panel, battery, and use a switch. And if he want to use fiber uplink port, he, use, he need add a media converter, and you he have different PUE standard. He need to use the 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 PUE uh, injector uh, from the 48 to 24 pulse, 24 watt uh, watts, 24 watt. And uh, now if he use our Vitek uh, UPS PUE switch, he just all in one, and uh, he don't need to think about more. And uh, we also develop uh, another eight ports. Uh, the big rack mount uh, UPS PV switch is a management, and uh, he usually designed for a big project or for some telecom project. It has uh, eight PV port and two SIP, and the eight PV port, every port can detect 24 volt and 48 volt. And uh, you can connect solar panel, battery, and AC and he also used the solar panel in priority, and then it's AC, then battery.
and uh, this is a management uh, pill switch. So in the uh, in the page 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 in the manager page, you can check the the battery charge and uh, the the uh, uh, the battery charge and discharge. This is two model compare. Uh, uh, the left one, 306, is uh, unmanaged. Five pulse is small size. Usually suit for the small project or a CCTV uh, outdoor box. And the uh, red one is eight pulse, it's management. And uh, it has uh, uh, supposed the 19 inch uh, rack mount. And uh, we also developed a new product. Uh, it's a pill injector, but uh, we adding support, uh, adding the battery charge discharge support. So this pill injector, you can AC input, then you charge your battery. When your AC cut down, and the battery will recharge, and it have a PUE port on put, but it, you can choose 24 volt or 48 volt, so you can. Uh, power up a uh, wireless or power up camera. And uh, we also design a 12 volt, 3 ampere maximum DC output. So you can power up the NVR or camera. And uh, here we also have another DC output. 20, you can change from the 24 volt or 48 volt. So you can power up any uh, industrial switch. So this is a, a small Pure injector, but it has the uh, the battery backup function. This is a three uh, the UPS PUE switch uh, product from the five ports to the eight PUE port or, from, or to the one gigabit uh, one one PUE port PUE injector. And this is some uh, in install in just installation uh, case uh, for our customer for our customer like this uh, this is a, a steel case box uh, inside uh, uh, you can input the, the battery you can connect the uh, power adapter you can uh, input some uh, other device or lighting protect you need This is uh, the big 8 pulse UPS PUE switch. He needs a bigger uh, uh, box and uh, can input uh, two piece, uh, 100 uh, ampere hour battery. And then uh, I uh, introduced the in industrial uh, grid uh, PUE switch. So industrial grid PUE switch has uh, two big, big feature. So one feature is uh, it can work at uh, the under 0 040 to up 0 80 degree uh, the, the environment. So uh, the normal switch before I introduce is usually working indoor, not outdoor. But uh, sometimes you need some project, the switch need to work outdoor. Okay, you can choose this pill switch. It can work in, very, in the very root, uh, the, the very hard uh, environment. And the second feature is uh, uh, he support fast ring for some protect, pro project uh, requirement. Like uh, uh, in the manual station system, it is not uh, alone the camera uh, cut down or the camera uh, uh, system hunt, hunted. So usually we will build a ring network or even double ring network. The advantage for the double ring network is uh, sometimes if your your cable, like in here, your cable cut down from here. Okay, the camera video date will can transmit from here to the control room. And even the, the very unlikely, unluckily, your red cable cut down from here to here. Okay. Your camera also can run in from this line, another line, 
back to the uh, control room. So uh, the RIN network will let your uh, your CCTV IP surveillance system very uh, very safe. Uh, like here in the high speed road, usually we can connect all the camera in different pole to a line or even a ring. Uh, you need to do is uh, you can connect one fiber in, one fiber out, one fiber in, one fiber out, and uh, you need to use at least one managed PoE switch in this ring. So he will open uh, the STP. MSTP and uh, the, do the fast ring. And in our industrial PV switch, we also design the digital input and digital output. So you can connect uh, any alarm system. Like uh, uh, in, in, for, for example, in the digital input, you can connect the sensors, like the temperature sensors, or like the uh, the door detector, and uh, it will detect when the door is closed. Okay, it will trans transmit the commander to the uh, switch, and the switch will uh, send the alarm message by the SMP or by the system log. And it also, at the same time, you can connect another alarm system by the digital output. Okay, so it will the switch will also start up, start the the uh, uh, digital output uh, alarm. Like here, we have a use case. Uh, here in the box, we can adding uh, uh, temperature sensors to connect to the our digital input port port, and uh, the temperature sensors will detect the box box, this box temperature, and send to the information to the switch, and the switch will show the temperature, system temperature, temperature in our uh, GUI. And uh, when you can set uh, the safe temperature range, like uh, the safe temperature range from the under 0 020 to up 0 040, if the temperature sensors detect the temperature can reach 45, okay, the switch will start up the fan by the digital output. So it will uh, let the box temperature cooling down. So this switch can control the system uh, temperature by alarm input, alarm output. And for our industrial switch, we also support the PoE watchdog. It's very useful because the industrial switch usually uh, deploy on site uh, on the pole. And uh, sometimes if we, we, we find uh, some camera or some wireless access point uh, system haunted, we cannot uh, go out, go to the site very uh, in short time. So the, the PU switch, the industrial PU switch will help you restart the camera or restart the access point when it finds the, the camera system haunted. And uh, for our industrial PoE switch, we design the port one and port two. It's auto PoE. So the port one and port two, you can always detect uh, any ubiquity or, or the, the Campuya uh, CP because they, they, they usually use the 24 volt and uh, you can connect them. And we also support some manager function, MSTP, RSTP. And uh, we also uh, support DDM. Uh, from the DDM, you can check the SAP fiber, uh, how, how about his uh, voltage, his ampere, ampere and uh, his temperature. And uh, we support SSL or SSH uh, more security uh, management.
and the SMP V2, V3. This is some case, uh, the, the application case uh, in uh, for the industrial grid switch. And uh, for our in industrial PV uh, switch, now we have a below model. Uh, for the 206, PS206 is uh, uh, for 100 Mbps ports. And for PoE306 GF is a 4 gigabit PoE port. And uh, for the 310GF uh, is a 8 PoE port plus 2, two combo. And uh, from the PMS 306 and PMS 3312 is a, a gigabit, uh, but a manager management uh, industrial PV switch. And uh, you can see now this model both support the BT standard. And for the fast ring function, you must uh, uh, have uh, the one one piece manager PV switch in the ring, and uh, we also develop a uh, uh, economic uh, outdoor PV switch. The so outdoor PV switch is uh, 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 it's just like a switch, but it have a waterproof box on site, so it can uh, deploy in on site even it have a ring. It's okay. And he also have a feature. He can save the UTP cable for the on-door deployment. Like this map, uh, this picture. Uh, if from your uh, from your uh, control room to your, your 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 camera set, if you have eight piece camera, and you before you need to deploy eight cable, like uh, eight eight piece one hundred meters uh, UTP cable. But now, if you have outdoor PV switch, okay, you just need to deploy one piece, 100 meter cable, and uh, use eight piece short cable, so you can save your UTP cable. Uh, like here, uh, in a big building, you deploy many camera, you install many camera uh, uh, around the building, and uh, before all the camera need. Uh, uh, install the cable. Uh, all the camera need to install the cable to the uh, to the center room uh, to the monitor room, and uh, but now you just need one cable from your monitor room to here, and the other short cable to the camera. So uh, save many many uh, UTP cable. And uh, for the uh, uh, outdoor PV switch, uh, we. The under PV switch is work for power up the camera and give the date. But uh, how you transmit the video from the, the camera to the your control room? You can use uh, the uh, Ethernet access. That means you can connect by the cable, or you can use the GPON or fiber. You can use the uh, GPON system. Even you can use a wireless system, point to point or point to multiple point to transmit the video date to the central room. Uh, because our indoor PV switch, we design a DC output port. It, it can DC output uh, to power up a media converter, or a GPON ONU, or a, a wireless CP, or even a 4G CP, 4G router. So let your indoor switch connect to your control room, use a different way. You can use a fiber. You can use a, a media converter fiber. You can use a, 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 a wire. You can use a GPON fiber. You can use a wireless point to point, or you can use a 4G.
So this outdoor PUC, which usually uh, deploy on site in some uh, place uh, like uh, the square like construction site. And then I, I, I introduced uh, our 24 to 48 mix uh, smart PV switch. Uh, as we know, uh, now in the world, uh, some device use 24 volt passive PV. Uh, maybe the UBPT or the Scambia APCP, maybe the Hackvision Intercom or some alarm system. They both use 24 volt passive PV. Its PV pin is a uh, uh, four, five, plus and seven, eight. And uh, sometimes more, most other device like camera, like a VIP phone, like uh, the, the the access point, they use AF8048 PV standard. So we usually uh, sometimes some customers say uh, I need to prepare two camera. Uh, two switch for different device. So we, we think about to develop a, a new PV switch. It can working with any device. Uh, so we develop a 24 to 48 volt uh, max smart PV. Uh, this technology will let uh, our every PV port can detect uh, the device if he need a passive 24 volt, okay, it will unput 24. If he need a standard 48 PV, okay, we unput 48. And uh, in our list product family, we have different model. Uh, we named Alien, like the PS310GF Alien. It's a gigabit uh, unmanaged 8 PV. And AirPod can support 20, 48, 24 volt. And PMS is a manager vision. It PV port. And uh, PMS uh, 328 GF alien is 24 pulse gigabit, and uh, it support 48, 24. And uh, PMS 310 GF alien is a uh, uh, in industrial switch, but it can support eight. Auto eight, eight auto port, and uh, it can working on site. It uh, DC uh, it's a uh, powered by DC input, uh, DC input. And uh, we also have developing some uh, PU injector, PU injector like a, a, a single port PU PU switch. It usually have a, a one AC input, then set input, then PoE output. We have 30 watt from the gigabit to 100 Mbps and 60 watt. Uh, uh, now I uh, uh, speak uh, 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 about uh, all is, uh, about is a uh, switch, and uh, I'm not sure about where is I will continue or not. Uh, okay, if you want to continue, what is this about? Uh, uh. Uh, I think it's okay because uh, now you don't order uh, various. So I think maybe next time I will pre uh, after you start selling the so various, I can uh, speak again. Uh, about switch, you have any question? Okay, for now, my colleague, any other question for Alun? Yeah. Uh, I think we can listen to the wireless as well. Okay, I'll, uh, by, uh, you can proceed with the wireless transmit also. Okay, I introduce the wireless transmit. Uh, okay, uh, about the wireless transmitter, actually it's a wireless CP, uh, but uh, we develop a, a, a special uh, CP designed for the CCTV, CCTV market. So we call the wireless transmitter. 
let the uh, the CCTV installer more easy to to understand. Uh, the uh, wireless transmitter, uh, it's a simple meaning is you can deploy your CCTV, your camera, no need back cable by wireless. Uh, let's this case show. Uh, if your if your your uh, control room and uh, your 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 camera, you need to cross the mountain before. Maybe you need uh, it's really hard. You 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 deploy your cable cross the mountain, but now if you use a wireless solution, it's easy. You just uh, transmit from the uh, point A to point B, uh, from this side to the mountain top of mountain by one pair wireless transmitter and uh, transmit another pair from the mountain to um, top to the another side. So it's more easy to uh, more easy to deployment and uh, save money. Because uh, the cable, uh, uh, if do the cable deploying, you need do more job and you need more people. And uh, for the wireless, it just uh, need deploy two point device. It's uh, more easy and uh, save money. And usually, if we deploy by the cable, it also needs more time. Like here, we do a uh, uh, cost about uh, the material between the cable and the wireless. We can find from the one kilometer. Uh, the, the the project or the from the five kilometer uh, project uh, the the wire and the wireless compared with wireless is very different uh, uh, price. Wireless will save much money. Usually for the wireless transmit. Uh, we have two kind of uh, top logic. One is point to point, and another is point to multiple point. And uh, we develop a different uh, range from two two uh, uh, two thousand kilometer, three thousand kilometer, and uh, five and ten, and uh, uh, to ten uh, eleven NC. So um, we we test a different range. Uh, take the different uh, camera. From 16 piece to the 160 piece. And when you, uh, put, when you put there 900 meg, is it uh, tested? Is it a throughput or data rate? It's, it's true. Uh, we, 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 I will show you uh, the, how we test. Uh, actually, here, here you can see. Uh, we, we 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 do a test to take uh, many camera by 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 uh, this case is uh, six kilometers. Uh, but we 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 don't uh, uh, every 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 distance we we don't do all distance uh, uh, testing. We maybe we just choose uh, one kilometer, then five kilometer, then ten kilometer, and uh, test the uh, uh, different device at uh, the maybe three megapixel. But uh, after that, uh, after we get the, the date and we we, we calculate uh, if we use the five megapixel camera, maybe maybe we just can take three piece like this. This is the point to multiple point. Uh, this is a sector uh, uh, antenna. Sector antenna CP is a degree is a 150 degree. And uh, we can use some uh, function to let the video it more smooth, smooth. Uh, like uh, we, we can set the QV line for the video. And uh, we use the TDMA, and uh, we can use a more external uh, channel for the more clear channel. Uh, Alun, sorry, yeah. Alun, 
Uh, how do you do planning for the wireless transmit? Uh, how do you do any play, uh, uh, planning tool? Planning? Yeah, do you have planning tool for your white tech uh, wireless transmit? Uh, uh, no, not have, not have, no. Not, okay. uh, not like uh, ubiquity or the, the, or the computer, we don't have that tone, yeah. Okay. And uh, for the wireless transmit uh, suit for the different uh, uh, environment, uh, usually it's, uh, the environment is not easy to deploy the cable. Uh, like like uh, in the construction uh, site, uh, usually it will finish the, the project uh, one year. So if you deploy the cable, it's uh, waste too much money. So we suggest to use the wireless better for, for, for the Construct a set uh, camera project, and uh, in the road, in some in the in the some road in the cross, and sometimes it's not easy to deploy the cable. We can choose the wireless, and in the some some area like forest, uh, it's very long, so not easy to deploy cable from the forest to the city center. Uh, so we suggest, suggest use the wireless solution. And uh, in the elevator, we also suggest use the wireless because uh, for the elevator, if you deploy the camera by the cable, uh, usually one year you need to change the cable one time and it will cost uh, much money. And if you use wireless, you can just uh, use uh, change the, the the access point or, or, or change the CP by a normal engineer. But if you use a cable, you need a special engineer. Uh, this is some case of a project deploying. And uh, this is what we do the set performance testing. Uh, so wireless transmit is uh, finished. Alun, for the yes. wireless transmit, uh, yes. what cable that you use your wireless transmit? What yeah. band? 5G or? A band? Uh, yeah. Okay, this one. Frequency, you mean? Uh, yeah, frequency. Uh, 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 from the 2.4, we, our frequency is uh, 2.3 to 2.7 GHz. And uh, from the 5G, it, we use uh, uh, 4.7 to G 6 GHz. Uh, this Oh, a lot of info also not shown on the table. What is the channel size to achieve the 900 meg? Uh, what type of uh, chipset that you're using? Is it a standard Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Because your table doesn't show a lot of information. What are the yeah. channel bandwidth that uh, you need to use to achieve the 900 meg? Yes. And is this 900 meg uh, using A2.11 AC chipset? Yes, 11 AC. How many AC. radios are inside? Yes, uh, 11 AC chipset, uh, uh, Qcom uh, chipset. Oh, oh, Qualcomm, Qualcomm uh, chipset. Qualcomm, Qualcomm, yeah, Qualcomm, Arthuris, Qualcomm, Arthuris, yes. Actually, the 900 actually uh, truly is 866 Mbps. Oh, okay. uh, so that's the data rate. Uh. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thanks for the wireless presentation. Okay. So, uh, 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 the, uh, my, my introduction is, uh, uh, is uh, finished. Okay, uh, anybody else got question to ask Alun? Uh, 
Uh, okay, Alun and Jennifer. Uh, looks like we doesn't have any question uh, from our side. So, okay. thank you for your presentation and your timing. And sorry okay. for troubleshooting early. Ah, uh, tr uh, trouble, uh, trouble earlier. Okay. So, anything we will contact you again via email or via WhatsApp. If you got any question? Yes. And also, can you share to us this presentation slide? The sure. on by email. Okay. Mm, I will share. Yeah. Your your switch is very interesting. So <laughs> Two hundred fifty meters extender. Yeah. The mm -hmm. solar power. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys uh have any question later, then you can share me the question via the WhatsApp or email. Okay. Okay, okay. Sure. thank you so much, Jennifer and Alun. No problem. Thank you very much. And Pharaohs, you have record the video, right? Ah uh, yeah, I'm recording the video, but uh the video not full, not full recording. Uh let yeah. I share to you. Okay, you share me. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, so guys, uh stay Bye. safe at home, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.